Hello everybody. So uh, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about another uh, really weird car that you probably haven't heard of. Uh, it's actually not a car, it's a minivan. Uh, and the name of this minivan is the Italo Design Columbus. But before I go on, I just want to mention that this car was technically actually never made. Uh, it was just a concept car, which essentially means that uh, a manufacturer will uh, make a car just to show everybody how cool they are and to just kind of uh, give everybody a glimpse at what their future cars might look like. But anyways, uh, this car was never actually built for consumers uh, to actually buy, but they did make a few of them and they've just been sitting in storage since like the 1990s. Uh, so before I actually talk about the Ital Design Columbus, I want to talk about minivans in general. Uh, and generally speaking, minivans are pretty boring cars. I think that's relatively uh, well agreed on. Uh, parents use them to drive their kids to soccer practice and nobody really finds them interesting or cool in any way possible. But that's not really the point of a minivan, I guess. It's not meant to be cool or fast or anything like that. It's just meant to carry a lot of people and stuff from point A to point B and it works really well for that. But then comes this Italian company called Ital Design. Uh, and they were never really in the business of building uh, or manufacturing cars. Instead, they came up with uh, designs and specifications uh, for cars and sold them to like a lot of big car manufacturers. For example, many Volkswagens and Audis uh, made during the 1970s and 80s uh, were all initially created by Ital Design. So Ital Design wanted to change what a minivan actually was. Uh, and they wanted to take away uh, the stigma that minivans were really boring and uninteresting. So they came up with the Ital Design Columbus. Uh, so the Ital Design Columbus was uh, supposed to be a vehicle that could do it all. It had a V12 engine, uh, which is essentially an engine that they put in Formula One cars and in uh, like really expensive sports cars. Uh, and fun fact about that engine, it was actually sourced from BMW's most expensive car at the time, the BMW 7 Series. And uh, testing on that engine later revealed that uh, it could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 4 seconds. And for some context, that's about as quick as a modern day Dodge Charger, uh, like SRT, that's like fully loaded with like every single perform like performance item that you can get. And those retail for like $80,000. And keep in, uh, keep in mind that the Ital Design Columbus kind of looked like a filing cabinet. So that's pretty impressive, I guess. But that's not all. Uh, the Ital Design Columbus actually had two floors, or maybe I should call them levels since they weren't technically floors, but you get the point. The upper level was where the driver sat and there was space for two additional passengers on either side of the driver. Uh, on the lower level, uh, there was space for an additional four people, uh, which meant that you could uh, carry a total of seven people, driver included, uh, which is pretty good for a minivan. And as you can see in the picture, uh, most of the seats face each other on the lower level, which means that you always have to be looking at uh, the other passengers for some reason. Uh, so I'm not really sure why they designed it like that, but they did. And honestly, looking back on the Ital Design Columbus, uh, I kind of wish that they actually made this minivan and sold it to people. Uh, and the reason for this is because minivans are still kind of boring. And I think it would be insane if there was a minivan that looked like this. And seeing a minivan uh, just going down the road that was just like really blobby and looked like a fish, I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, that's the uh, Ital Design Columbus. Uh, it's probably the weirdest minivan that anybody's ever thought of or even like made, even if it was only a couple units. Uh, and it's a shame that they never made it. Uh, and because I like weird stuff like this, I probably would have bought it if I had the money. Uh, and actually I found some like videos online and like articles and stuff. Uh, it said like a single one costed them like $200,000 to make. So, you know. Buy two hundred thousand dollars. I'd probably buy one.